Yo, what's up guys? Today I'm gonna give you a full tutorial about the speed calculator and how to use it. We will make a team from the scratch so you actually see everything I do. And But this is just gonna be a two-parted video. In the first part we will take a look at general settings and the normal calculator. But we will start like with normal calculator on the top right here so you actually know exactly what's going on. But I also want to mention you can press more here and you can find the code, put it in here, press import and it will show you like um, what we did already and you have a nice little starting point and yeah, you can continue from there or you're just gonna start from the scratch like I do right now. And you also can press that little button right here and the boss will appear like a pop-up right there and you can see what he actually kind of is for a level and stuff. You can check the skills and something else and we will continue on the top kind of left there is your leader spot right here there you can select your champions in our case we will use a pain keeper and right underneath it we got like opener obviously that's an opener and also like when you put your champions in here you, you see what the outcome is already with those kind of speeds of course we are super slow right now so that it's kind of super bad right now so we got the opener priorities of course it is like in the actual game like if you press one you have a priority of one like it is in the game two and if you want it to be off like you press the x we got some delays of course that's like you're um, used to it but the delay only goes to seven because that software right here is more like you want to use it for a full auto composition and to have seven on there is never gonna be a um, full auto but it will be manual so keep that in mind it's not gonna be like 50 turn delay and stuff manual calculation it will always go for a full auto team and that's what you're kind of always looking for but if you look for like a little bit of manual seven turn is is pretty generous like seven turns is pretty much enough so and of course we got the speeds we can change it and the outcome will like be different and that's what the normal speed calculator does anyway but we got like more function in here we can press the little button behind like right next to our champion and we got like a, a, a slide bar right there you can press your little stars that's gonna be like the outcome for phantom touch at the moment i'm not sure if like other um, blessings will be added but at the moment it counts for phantom touch so like you can press your phantom touch um, stars you have on it you always can check like the master like you can um, input masteries and sets and everything you, you like you can imagine and on the skills you actually can see like the skills and you can increase those like um, cooldowns and everything if you might haven't booked your champion or something like that is the the area you want to aim for crit rate is right there um I don't know why it's on your champions but the crit rate right there is meant to be for shogun so like um you can actually uh, change the crit rate for your shogun run and you the, the the outcome will be like a little bit different if the boss has more crit rate so that's a nice little thing too maybe like accuracy will maybe be added in here and then the crit rate could be like something for example like a tomb lord or something so also you can change the position of your champion which is like super important for ally attacks and for example fire knight and right next to your champion menu button you got another button which is there for when the boss you're targeting for has a single target attack like the clan boss and you could can put that button on and the clan boss his single target attack will exclusively go on that champion you decided it goes for so it is really great for calculations like if for example like your clan boss and at this point I already showed you like the basic functions of the speed tune calculator i will put some champions in here in here and i will be right, right back so i put in some champions and i literally put random numbers in there and this is a recreation of a team i already did but it is a great example of more functions like we can see now in the normal speed calculator for example right here that button literally you can see now if you are unkillable or not and that is like looking for unkillable or blocked damage so either of them can just be used to see 
if you are unkillable or not but especially in iron twins there's another function because you can see if you are unkillable even if the boss is countering you like for example right here they do attack but we still got like unkillable or block damage or whatever you have right there but right here if somebody if the um, boss decides to counter attack at this point at some champion you are actually not unkillable and at this point your run could fail so it is a really really great example like how great it is continuous check i'm gonna explain in a second because we're gonna jump now in general settings and here we can like decide how many turns how many um actions you can um, you can use for example right now we have a turn number of 300 that's a little bit too much if we put it on five we can just literally see five like turns in here if we increase if we increase it all the time of course we can see more but keep in mind you gotta put that one on a on a good number too because that means like actions like how many actions like how many turns how many things can your champions do if you put this one on five two your champions can just do five turns and it will not show you anything and if you increase it of course and you see like how it's gonna stack up so if you want to have like a good thing like use <coughs> right here 50 for like the average clan boss for example and like a 200 or something in here and on the end you see like ah am i actually on 50 but yeah that's kind of it about it because we're gonna jump in into rng mode and that's one thing about this calculator which makes it stand out even more than anything else because it considers like um right now let's put it on none none means if you have a skill that has a 5% chance to do, for example, a decreased defense or anything, like any debuff, it will land all the time, like really all the time. If you can land it for 1%, it will land all the time. But that's actually what we don't want. Most calculators are kind of like that and it's not so good. If you put it on normal, that means if you have a 5% chance to land decreased defense, it will mostly not even appear in here because it considering it like yeah so on the end you don't even see like it maybe it's not even once in here because it's just a five percent if you have an 80 percent chance of landing a debuff it will be mostly um, be in here but not all the time so because it's considering it. and actually you can reset the page you see right here with actually the continuous check like if you want to do it manual you press str g and r and you literally can see like everything changes a little bit because the debuffs are not some on a hundred percent and you can just press the button all over again all over again and you sometimes for example you, you see something change but that function right here can be used for example i can put it on let, let's go crazy 50 milliseconds and then i press that button right here and you actually can see it jumping around because it's, it's gonna reset for you and you can see literally your debuffs are not landing there and sometimes the, the whole com comp you already did is gonna change because something is just not landing and you can uh, like really use that for your good advantage to actually see like more more things in here and we have also rng mode full it considers even more like you you do it all the time like um what's it called uh here cycle of magic and right now i don't even know what what that kind was but it's considered in this calculation so that's also uh, also a plus point and i do think that's kind of the basics around um like the speed calculator and the menus you have right here and i'm gonna go on specific things on dungeons right now you have to know if you use it because for example um fire knight i give you a quick little example so i took a code which i already did before and it shows you that fire knight for example or any other boss which is affectable by termiter decreases is calculatable by termiter decreases right here you just never see the boss actually taking another turn and we go endlessly because it is like that but if i press now a reset button the strg R button sometimes you will see <coughs> the comp is actually changing 
because it is considering the landing rate of your freezers your turn meter decreases or whatever any debuff and if you have only a 50 percent chance then it will just land not all the time but also it does consider the three percent chance to not land a debuff you might don't know but there's a three percent chance in the game that every debuff you want to like cast will be resisted for some reason it is like it is but this calculator right here is gonna like um consider that one so if i press the reset button over and over so um sometimes it goes good sometimes it goes wrong and it's just basically like the considering of it and now we will take a look at sand devil there's not much to talk about in here but you have to know that you can actually sleep the boss and only and on those specific turns and stuff everything is like it should supposed to be in the game and if you somehow don't have like revive on that on your champions they will not appear anymore so they are basically dead and they will not like shown anymore because they are just dead now let's talk about shagoon and shagoon is like a really really good example for the counter in this game like you know the bosses have counters now like fire knight or sand devil or shagoon but those counters are fully included and they actually act like in the game like for some dungeons it's like um for example on shagoon if you do a multi-hit and you have the enfeebled debuff it increases the the counter even more because it does know everything about it so the counter is fully covered in here and also you can put um those stars um, you can just increase or decrease the numbers and everything will change in here so everything is set up and the shogun is ready to go and you can use it and also there's another thing in here um, you can actually use the single target really really good in here like who's gonna get the single target thingies and everything will change in here so you can actually use that one right here to a really good advantage I think you know what all those buttons do for you now and on the end you will select champions increase decrease your speed and maybe changing priorities and stuff like that all manual and on the end you might get a comp which fits your conditions like a usual speed calculator but the diamond on this software is really the consistency checker and the speed tune search the consistency checker can actually check your current like consistency of a team of course but it also can interact with that uh, speed tune finder where it actually finds full automatically speeds that fits condition you you put in here so that's what we take a look in the next video and i hope i will see you there